You mentioned that uh, thing with Goldberg. How did he treat you as like uh, undercard talent when he was? Oh no, we I knew Bill from we went to Georgia together. Okay. I knew him before you know, when I saw him at WCW. He's like, you're coming here. It's like, wow, that's great. Because <laughs> we do it. It was funny too. Because we uh, <clears throat> my um my uh, apartment that I lived in was literally like right next door to a bar that Bill worked at, and the entry of the bar. They had these stairs going up, and Bill would be the guy that would check IDs. You know, like he was the bouncer at the bar, and he always had a, a sleeveless Dallas Cowboys T-shirt on. Had the Dallas Cowboys star white, and he was just just recognized. He, always, he had a mullet too. He's like he's a big big guy. Yeah. And the the when the bar would be open, and then Bill was working there, you could literally like like look out my window and look and see Goldberg checking IDs at, at the at the bar next door, right? <clears throat> so. uh when I went to Georgia, a bunch of my my high school friends were there too, and they were our, our high school baseball team was the I didn't play baseball, but we were three year state champions and like broke a record for the most home runs. But none of these guys wanted a lot of these guys didn't go out and play college ball. Just maybe like one or two of them. So, but all these guys we played intramurals at Georgia, and we had kind of got the team together, right? So our team and Bill's team, he was he was had the, like all the football players, right? So the, there are two intramurals uh, softball teams, and then the school paper, they would rank the teams. Our teams were ranked number one and number two, right? And there was an inevitable showdown that we were gonna be going. So we would always kind of like talk trash, like, hey, like, okay, when we play, let's play for a keg. You know, so, 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 so like, you know, and uh, it's funny too, because um, both of our teams lost in the semifinals, and Bill's team lost because Bill made an error because he thought this, there were three outs, and he, he caught the ball, and like threw it down the ground, and, read it, and, one, and they lost the game because one of the teams came, came oh. around the because Bill's error. The, it was a fraternity, right? So, I got the details are sketchy on this, but um, from what I remember, okay, is that they think the, uh, the, 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 what you call it, like the school had put on a, uh, like the fraternity had put on a, like a big poster outside. It said Goldberg's equation, one plus one equals two. Or well, one, plus two, uh, one plus one equals three. Like making fun of him. Yeah. You know, and I heard that like the football players want to go over there and fight him and stuff. <laughs> like, so, but that's, that's like a, how me and Bill like knew each other before. We would like, we would trash talk each other, like intramurals and stuff and all that. And uh, then when he came into WC, he played football. You know, he was great. I mean, he was he was an unbelievable. Like, if you ever watched Bill Goldberg play college football, he was one of the best players in the country. And I was like, uh, and I'll never forget one play that he made um, when I was, I was at a game. He like he got he got he got his bell rung, and he was like completely dazed. Like, you see him shaking off. You know, like I'll never forget. I I don't even spoke to him about this, but he like sh was shaking off. Like, you could tell he was like out of it. You know. And like, did, he wasn't coming out of the game. This is back in, you know, this is back in the late '80s, early '90s. You know, like the, nobody knew about concussions and concussion protocol back then. So, and he got down his four point stance, and they hiked the ball, and he just shot right through. Like, I got the guy for like a three yard loss, and then got up and kind of like still dazed, went off the field. Right. And I was like, wow. I was like, you know, did you see that? Like, at the game, I told you see what Goldberg just did. So, uh, so that's how tough he was. You know, and um, so when he went to play pro football, I didn't think he just showed up at the day, showed up at TV at, at TV one day with Luger. I was like, all right, you think you're, you're doing this? I was like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm thinking of doing this. You know, so he didn't really love he didn't love wrestling. He he loved football. You know, he was a football player that just became got he was just good at getting a pop in wrestling. He was just good, you know, that that crowd when when he it was just different. Whenever Goldberg would come out to wrestle. Just that, that arena just was different. It was like, wow, this guy's coming out to kill, Goldberg's coming out to kill somebody. You know, it wasn't like, you know, wrestling. Yeah. You know, and uh, but we were always cool, but just one day, I, I never, one day, I was always cool with him. You know, never did issue, but I didn't really hang out with him at the shows or nothing. But, uh, but I just remember one day when he was in the, they were in the meeting where they had to bring in Brad Siegel and he was meeting with Russo and stuff and those guys. He wanted, they wanted him to do a job at Scott Steiner. And I remember I opened the door and he was so pissed from like, I guess he was arguing with these guys. He was like, shut the goddamn door. And I was like, Jesus. Like he never talked to me like that before. Yeah. You know, and I was like, wow, he must be hot. You know, so, yeah. yeah. But uh, I, yeah, I, I, I was a huge fan of his, you know. And it, it just, um, plus each time we worked him, I worked him, we always had good, we, we did good stuff with it. We put him over big, you know. And it was, uh, I'll, never, I'll never forget when Johnny Ace took over 
when Johnny H was doing the finishes and he came in and he was like doing all, all the Goldbergs finishes and matches and stuff. And I remember like he wanted to do a handicap match against against me and Alex, who were over in England. And um <clears throat> uh like Johnny Ace said, set it up, and I, I didn't. I didn't like it. It was just like it was just a squash. But I'm like, I like, do we can be? This can be more entertaining if we do it logically, you know, instead of anything like instead of just a straight, you know. And like, you know, we did a deal where like, if you watch this, it's uh, it's, it's it's really entertaining. It's, it's before he gets in the ring, and so we kind of jump out of the ring. You know, we're scared of him. We're kind of circling, trying to sneak up on him. You know, and we do a thing where like, a, you know, one of us distracts, the other one slides in. You know, boom, boom, and uh, like he. I attack him, he hits me, but Alex now is climbing up on the top rope. And Johnny wanted Alex to drop kick him, missile drop kick him off the top rope, but didn't want Bill to take a bump. And I'm like, D -d -d I'm like, come on, Johnny. I go, this kid's this 240 pounds. I go, let's do it for a shoot. You know, he's gonna knock him down. Big deal. So he didn't have to don't have to kill him. I go, all you're doing is knocking a guy down, but we're doing a missile drop kick off the top rope. Yeah. So he knocks him down. And we kinda like boom 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 get a little heat on him. And we do a spot where we shoot him because it's double spears, double jackhammer, but it was just real exciting, right? And when we came back afterwards, uh, Bill was like, yeah, you, he was good, that, that worked. He goes, did, did, he goes you, you, that was right, you know, that was good. I like that, you know? And Johnny Ace even came over and said, that, that, he goes, you, you, your way was better. And I was like, you know, I go, yeah, we're putting him over, but it's like, he shouldn't, like, you just can't go out there and kill everybody without ever, like, you know, like every, anybody, ever, you know what I'm saying? There's, 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 no, there's no depth to a, a guy just slaughtering everybody at any time, you know? Like the people pop when Mike Tyson would kill people, but the people pop bigger when Mike Tyson got beat, you know? Or go showed, showed, you know, chinks in his armor. 